Hello, welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at how we can light up these lamps here and give them a bit more of a, a glow so they're looking a bit more active, making for a warmer picture. Uh, you can do this with lights like that, which are uh, which are lit, uh, and as you can see, they're a bit, a bit burned out because of the intensity of the lights. So we can do something about that, and uh, you can even use this technique for lighting lamps which are not lit. Anyway, let's go on. So we're going to start off, we're going to say let's paint some pictures here with a paintbrush on top of this. We could start off and go, well, let's just click on the paintbrush, pick ourselves a colour, say orange, uh, make the paintbrush bigger. Um, so you've got the hardness here, we make that zero opacities. Uh, you could change that. If that looks a bit high, you could bring this down. I think we do this in one go like this, say. And just paint on top of lights like this. And so on. But it doesn't look terribly realistic. So let's undo those. And go about it a slightly different way. We're going to turn opacity all the way up. And leave hardness there. And we're going to paint on a new layer so that if we get it wrong we can always delete the layer we've always got the original picture so this is a non-destructive way for the color we're going to pick a color that's already there so if we go up here to the color picker click on this and then if we go into the color area if i push the left mouse button down it's down now and i move the mouse then we get the magnifying glass up and there we can say, yeah, that kind of colour looks all right. So that's the foreground colour now. So we then need the paintbrush. Make it big enough. Hang on, we want to switch to that, don't we? So make sure that was the one we're using. That's it. See, that tones in a lot better. Don't worry about it too bright, being too bright at the moment, because we can always fix that later. So we, uh, we can just size this to each light and there we go but that looks a bit artificial doesn't it so one of the things we can do is turn this down now so it looks about okay so that might be okay what we can also do is go to the blend modes here so click on where it says normal and just roll the mouse down looking at each of these and see which one works okay. Screen looks quite darn nice, doesn't it? Any of these look good. Some of them will look just completely strange. And so where do we go there? So then that these light ones here worked, didn't it? So screen. Let's say we'll click on screen and that gives this a bit more of a glow around here and we can play with the opacity as well turn this up and down to set the light see this is a great one reason for doing it on another layer so we can play with this later so there we go what we can do as well is you we can put rays of light in so if i add another pixel layer so so i can change this separately and i can just go here and paint down one of the reasons for doing it 100% opacity here is that it's not going to get darker or lighter. The whole thing is going to keep the same brightness. So I can just add streaks of light. Also, because it's on a separate layer, I can edit it afterwards. I can add bits, I can delete bits. So again, that looks rather gaudy let's change that to screen and then turn this down until it looks about right with rays of light you typically want those to be a little bit less so it just adds a little bit more haze because the further away from the lamp we go the light gets less of course so there we go we could even do a little bit of painting elsewhere to brighten up other things and so on but there we have it we've gone from this to this. It looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. 